Hey guys, welcome back. Today is the day that we go to war with the thrips. So I have a lot to do today, both plant and non-plant related, <laughs> but we're going to start off with the plant stuff because I've already put that off for way longer than I should have. <laughs> so that's where we're going to start today. But first, I'm going to make some coffee because I'm going to need something to keep me going through all the plant treatments. And I kind of want to put you guys on something because this particular way of making my coffee, for the first time, it actually made me feel motivated to do something. And I originally made it like pretty late at night, so that wasn't the best time for it to kick in, but it did. So I'm going to make it and hopefully it gives me the same kind of motivation and energy that it did before. But I'll show you guys how I make it in case you want to try it yourself. I highly recommend. So really all I've been putting in my coffee is this Ghirardelli caramel sauce and some oat milk. And I know it's only two things added, but it tastes so good. It's good. <laughs> okay, so here's the plan of attack. First, we're going to tackle the plants in my bedroom because that's where I first noticed the thrips. And we're just going to go shelf by shelf and any plants that I can visibly see the thrips are going to go into the tub. We're going to spray them down with the Captain Jack's Dead Bug Brew. Um, and then we're going to toss the top layer of soil and incorporate some of that systemic bonide stuff into the top layer of soil and once that dries we're going to repeat the process with the other plants but just in smaller groupings on the plants that I can't visibly see signs of thrip damage or the thrips themselves I'm going to use a different method of treatment I also bought yesterday some Castile soap, which is a much gentler soap so it doesn't hurt the plants. Um, I'm going to be using that mixed with some neem oil and water and I'm going to spray the plants that look okay with that treatment. And I'm also going to incorporate some of that systemic bonide stuff into the top layer of soil of those plants as well. So it kind of curbs like the whole threat problem for those specific plants before it actually becomes the problem. So that's the plan. I don't have the soil and soil um, additives that I need to repot a lot of my plants that need it, that definitely need it. So I'm going to wait until the soil I ordered comes in and then that'll be a separate video of repotting those plans and adding the bonite systemics into that new soil so that they're fine and dandy. Okay, so yeah, that's the plan. Let's see how far I get today. Hopefully I can get all of my plants through at least one round of treatment today. That is the goal. So yeah, let's just get into it. <laughs> All right, so we have the first round in the tub. We have my two ficus, my syngonium, my peperomia, and my massive spider plant. So I'm going to go ahead and chop off her babies and shorten the runners just to make treating this plant a whole lot easier. And I'm going to treat the babies separately the babies I have confirmed do have thrips, so I'm going to try the Castile soap, neem oil, water solution with them. I'm going to 
mix that solution in a bowl and just kind of soak the babies in it. Hopefully that gets rid of all the thrips on the babies. If not, I might have to resort to Captain Jack's, but the whole thing is I don't want to spray Captain Jack's directly on them since they don't really have roots or anything and I'm afraid that it'll just flat out kill them. So I want to go with the more gentler solution on the babies first and if that doesn't work then I'll have to resort to Captain Jack's and I will do that. Don't mind the cactus in the corner, he's not a part of this. He has a whole separate problem. This little guy has an ant problem but I can't really take care of it until I repot him and I can't repot him until I get the soil. So he's just gonna chill in that corner and I'm gonna keep the ants at bay with the neem oil I've been spraying him with. Anywho, my phone's gonna die, so I'm going to take care of the baby situation and then come back and spray these little plants down. Okay, see you in a bit. So here are the babies. I put them in an old propagation vase because never put any kind of plant treatment mixture in any kind of bowl that you might uh, consume food or anything out of in the future because that's very unsafe. So always put it in a container that is primarily used for plants so that you're only going to be using for plants in the future. Anyway, so here's what I used. I put some neem oil extract and some castile soap and filled it the rest of the way with filtered water and I'm just submerging the babies in there. All the babies are just chilling in this little bath. I might type, I might top it off with more filtered water in a little bit, but for now they're just chilling. I'm going to leave them in this mixture until tomorrow and then I'll change out the mixture and see how they're doing and I'll probably repeat this process for a week I think or until it's obvious that there's no thrips left and then I will go ahead and just put them in a vase full of regular water so that they can grow roots and propagate. Now I'm going to quickly just chop off these dead bits and pieces of the plant and remove the dead foliage just to get rid of um, a lot of the thrips favorite places basically. So I'm going to go ahead and do that first and except for this leaf I'm not going to chop it off just yet because that is the newest leaf I'm going to just treat it and yeah all right. Okay so they're already looking a little bit better <laughs> now that all of, like the dead leaves and limbs are removed. And for this next part, we're going to need gloves. It is always good to wear gloves whenever handling any kind of insecticide or stuff you don't really want getting into your skin. Anyway, so here's the man of the hour, Captain Jack. <laughs> All right, now let's get to spritzing. Oh, and I have it on the spray setting. There's a stream spray setting and a just spray spray setting. So that's what we're doing. Spray spray, cover more ground. Ready? Here we go. Yay. <laughs> so yeah. It's getting dark now and my coffee's cold. Oh my God, who the fuck is banging? Sounds like a fucking herd going down my hallway, damn. Anyway, so yeah, we're just going to let those plants sit and let that Captain Jacks dry. I couldn't really show you on camera because it was it was very hard to like hold the camera and like get really in there with the spray but I did go back in and spray like under the leaves more towards like the center of the plant all that stuff where the nooks and crannies are and we're just gonna let them sit let them dry after it dries I'm gonna go back in and rework the soil like I told you guys earlier and I'm going to put this <laughs> this systemic house plant insect control 
bonide. It's like a powdery granular preventative and I'm going to work this into the soil. I'm not going to have time to show it on camera because the plants are drying and it's getting dark and I'm getting tired. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going to be doing that with the rest of my plants. Honestly, it's probably going to take a week just to rotate all of my plants through the bathtub once. Okay, so that's just how it is. That's just how it's going to have to be. And yeah, I guess I should also mention that Captain Jack's isn't supposed to be used indoors, but I don't have a patio to take all my plants like out onto and spray it. I just have a very narrow, small balcony. So I don't really have the option to spray them outside. So the tub is my only option. I have my fan in my bathroom running and I'm not going to be directly inhaling it. I guess it's it's just gonna have to be okay. I put, I've sprayed plants with neem oil all the time in there. But that doesn't mean like, if you have the option to take your plants outside and spray them, please do. But if not, I understand. <laughs> I get it. So yeah, that's all we have time for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and <laughs> sticking with me through this video. I know it's a little weird. I didn't really cover everything I wanted to, but thanks for sticking around anyway. All right, so I'll see you in my next houseplant video. Bye.